There's something I've been wanting to talk to you about for a long time on my channel. And it's been really hard for me to get to the point where I'm ready to actually talk about it and shift gears and be serious. Most of what you've seen on my channel is lighthearted and fun and you always see a smile on my face. There's been a few videos that's a little bit more controversial. Maybe me being pulled over by the police a few times. Um, some stuff that may have happened in Slab City or a thing that happened in Vegas that is not the most positive thing. But I think overall had a good intention and a positive message. I've been having, I, 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 man, where do I go? I just got so many things on my mind to talk about right now and I don't know where to start. See, one thing about me that you may not know is that I feel incredible amount of shame and guilt for ever trying to put any self-care into myself. I don't know why that is. It's some kind of bad programming I got as a young child. I don't know, but for me to actually sit down and meditate and do something to care for myself and to love myself can be extremely hard for me to do. I go through times where I do it quite often, maybe a daily habit, and then something happens and I just feel completely defeated and I will stop caring for myself for a month or two months and I feel an incredible amount of guilt about not doing it. But I've seen such growth with myself over the past few years that I know how powerful it is and I know what it can do for you and me and everybody and do for this world and do for the earth. And yet my shame and feelings of guilt will still make me not do it. Well, part of my YouTube channel is kind of like therapy for me, you know, breaking through borders that I was scared to go through or attempting things that I never thought that I could do or could see myself ever doing in life. And me putting it out there for the world to see is kind of like my own accountability partner. Um, I am proving it to myself that I can do things that are incredible and beautiful and that I can create art and love life and be happy. And it's totally okay to love yourself. It's something that I never ever got when I was young. And I'm learning to love myself more than I ever have or knew was possible. So I just want to convey the message to you that like I'm on YouTube and I put almost everything out there for everyone to see, but there's still a huge barrier that I've been dealing with about actually talking about it and coming out with the things that are meaningful and hard to talk about and just inspirational, you know, like life changing. And I'm done being ashamed and alone and feeling this way. And I want to, if I can, maybe help another person feel the way I do coming out from the darkness and stepping into the light, you know, like metaphorically speaking. <laughs> but the, the thing is, is this channel is going to take a little turn and we're going to talk about some more serious topics. Um, addictions are one thing that I've been challenging myself on for the last 10 to 12 years of my life and I've been making progress but I just feel like I'm only scratching the surface of what's possible and just barely getting to the point where I even know myself but um, that's no reason to let it hinder you or slow you down for any reason. You may think that I'm completely open and honest and fearless about all of these things because I put myself out there on YouTube, but it's simply not true. I have a super hard time with self-care and spending time and taking time for myself. 
boundaries is another thing that I had no clue of what they even were until a couple years ago. Um, I've been exploring, like, do I even... I never even thought that I had boundaries. My boundaries are so loose and open and abstract that I don't even know if they're real or um, realistic or okay. I, you know, I'm beginning to learn more and more that there is no right or wrong. Nobody's right and nobody's wrong. It's like the more you know, the more you don't know. Every bit that I learn r makes me realize how little I don't know about anything. And it can be all super daunting and overwhelming to a point where you just don't want to spend time on it and take a break from it. And that's totally okay. You can come back to caring for yourself at any time. The sooner the better, but there's no reason to feel bad or feel guilty about it because we all do it. So, <sighs> another thing I want to talk about is a thing called, horrible term, toxic masculinity. I'm not into terms and I usually have a problem with every label that's put on anything. I pick it apart and it just doesn't make sense to me, but I instantly when I hear that term, toxic masculinity, I shut off from it because it sounds terrible to me. It is sort of like all masculinity is toxic. It is just a bad term in my eyes. I think it should be called something completely different. I was afraid of being masculine in any kind of way because of the way toxic masculinity was portrayed in the media and the climate of society where it was at a couple years ago. And I was, I got really uh, self-conscious and um, unconfident and um, I don't know what the opposite of confident is. I got really scared of all things masculine and didn't realize that the opposite of toxic masculinity is divine man masculinity and I've been just barely learning what that even is and what that means to me. I always felt like I was behind the curve. I was behind of what no normal society deemed as the progression that a person should go through from childhood to adult. I always feel like a bit of a late bloomer. And maybe I am. But I want to be here on this channel for all the late bloomers out there. You know, the 40s could be the best time of your life. The 50s could be the best time of your life. I really only got started on the road and doing what I wanted to do a couple years back. I want to be the president of the Late Bloomers Club. <laughs> if you are like me and uh, you never got a girl to hold your hand in high school <laughs> and you um, didn't move out of your parents' house until you were, I don't know, 20 years old or something like that. If you didn't go off to college like your whole family expected you to. Uh, if you feel like it's too late for you in life, I'm here to tell you it's not. It's never, ever too late. And uh, I want to talk about the things that hold us back, the barriers that we have in our minds that keep us from our dreams and how to break through those and taking power back that you forgot that you had. Or maybe you never knew you had. But I want to talk about all these topics on my channel that are really important to humans as a species. As a, as a life force in this universe. I always felt like there was so much beauty all around me. And it used to make me so sad. It used to make me so sad that there was all this beauty. And it was all around me. But I couldn't enjoy it. For myself and I didn't feel beautiful and as soon as I changed my mindset and stopped looking at myself as not part of this entire beautiful existence that we're in 
and realized that I was one of the ones that added beauty to everything in this place. My whole world changed. There's still times I forget and I slip back into these old mindsets that I used to have and start feeling sad and then I snap out of it again and it's a constant roller coaster up and down but I now know that all you have to do is be the beauty you want to be. Be the beauty that you see and you want to be a part of. It's within you. If you're out there and you want to see some more uh, topics on this channel that really impact you and really challenge you, leave a comment below of this video and talk to me. I want to connect with you. Just because we're talking to each other through a camera and an iPad doesn't mean that we aren't connected. We're all connected. We're all in this together. What can I do to help? What can I do to make this a better thing? I feel like I'm talking in circles now and I don't know what I've already said and I don't know what's left to be said, but I just wanted to make this video and put it out and be real and tell you guys what's on my mind. I'm gonna go. I've been sitting in this abandoned trailer for much too long. It was good talking to you guys and thank you for watching this video. And thank you for following my bread trucker adventures. <laughs> I'll be seeing you guys soon in a, another video right down the road. From the bottom of my heart, I really love you guys. And I hope to hear from you very soon. Goodbye.